in the past, uh, has any of the early Muslims or Sahaba, when we talk about them, had anyone suffered like sudden deaths or has there been any instances or scenarios from the past? Or mm -hmm. is this something that we are seeing only in the modern generation now? No, it comes to the sudden death. Um, obviously, uh, we're human beings uh, that were human beings, regardless of uh, uh, in what generation they live in. Doesn't mm -hmm. matter the technology, doesn't matter the advancement in medicine and so on. Because at the end of the day, when it comes to death, it's in the hand of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Still though, Allah Azza wa Jalla linked death to asbab, which means uh, causes. And obviously in our time, uh, a lot of these uh, causes are becoming more evident um, due to the lifestyle that we, we were talking about earlier. But uh, having that sudden death was mentioned in Hadith al Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam as well. When he made a dua, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he says, Qad wa'udu bika min fajaatul mawt, or mawtul faja'a. Like, Ya Allah, I seek refuge, I, fear, I seek protection with you from sudden death. So the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was, was talking about sudden death in the context of the spiritual context of it, obviously. Like he says, like, I seek refuge in Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala from dying unprepared. That's what it means. Because mm -hmm. no one wants to die really unprepared. If anyone knows where they're dying, they're probably going to uh, ration their good deeds and bad deeds until the moment comes, right? Yeah. But because we don't know when we're dying, that's why it's because life is all a matter of test. So we always need to make sure that we're, alhamdulillah, we're prepared, we're ready for it. Had people had heart diseases back then? I'm sure they did. Did they know that this was a heart disease? Probably not. Because at the time, technology and advancement of medicine was not there yet for them. But definitely... They knew that the heart get disease. And that's why it's mentioned in the Quran, the son of the Prophet Sallallahu And the Prophet himself, he talked about motul fajaa, meaning that the sudden death. So sudden death happens, and I'm sure it has many reasons for it. Part of it is probably what we talk about here as heart attack or, 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 or cardiac arrest and so on. Eventually it did happen. Do we know any report from the Sunnah about any of the Sahaba radiallahu anhu mardam who died, um, what you could call sudden death? I can't recall really anything. Uh, to say that they, they, they had that moment, Allahu A'lam. But definitely later on the history of, of uh, the Muslim community, many ulama, they talked about these, these people. Like for example, Imam al nawi rahimahullah ta'ala, he died, of course, when his time comes, it comes. That's what Allah says. La yastakdimuna sa'ata wa la yastakhirun. They can't defer their death. And they can't bring it closer. But you wonder sometimes uh, about the age of some of the ulama when they pass. Like Imam al nawi rahimahullah, um, he was a, a very prolific author, like he left an encyclopedia of fiqh and usul and, and especially in the Shafi'i school of thought and so on. And one of his famous and popular books that we read regularly is Riyadh al-Salihin, for example. Right. Uh, his, his comment on Sahih Muslim. But this man, he died early, relatively speaking, in his, in his early 40s. So someone so prolific in the, 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 the production that he put in his life in such a very short time, relatively speaking, is amazing. Um, so did he die because he was stressing himself out? Was he doing too much that he actually, his heart fell? Or was that something maybe uh, uh, genetic uh, in his household? Allahu A'la. So that's one example that we could say it, it, it happened that, you know, recorded that he died young, relatively speaking again in that sense. Um, what's the cause of it? Allahu Ta'ala, but definitely, uh, the sudden death was something that the Prophet has spoke about and people they were uh, aware of. Sure. So what I understand is like back in the days, even though the technology was not there, the awareness or maybe the education was not up to compared to the modern era. But I'm sure there were uh, people who suffered with these issues. They might have had some symptoms, but comparatively, the incidents were much lesser. Mm -hmm. compared to now because of definitely of all the risk factors we what we talked about